So we're gonna head um, to Spring Garden Street and actually start our tour and then I'll show you as much of the campus as we can and also the, the commercial area. Tate Street is really known. There's a Tate Street Festival and that's the, that's the street where all the restaurants and everything are and it's adjacent to UNCG so a lot of the faculty goes there and the students. UNCG is, is positioned between Spring Garden Street and West Market. And I think from a previous tour, and I'll, I'll be repetitive, West Market divides the city. So everything, it runs east to west and everything on one side is considered South Greensboro and everything on the other is considered north. But we're coming to one of the entrances to UNCG. Lots of growth. About, I would say, three to four years ago, UNCG got a new chancellor, Frank Gilliam. He was at UCLA and his wife, Jackie. They were pivotal at UCLA raising funds and they were, they were really awesome in their roles there. And so at, since he became chancellor, this school has just um, had amazing growth in such a good way. and and it's so exciting to see they've built a new fitness center. They've expanded quite a bit. It's a beautiful campus. Several of the buildings here were designed by really famous North Carolina architects, and it's very historic. But again, this was started as the women's college, and it was an all-women's school to train teachers. Now it's a, a liberal arts university. There's the Bryan School of Business, it's known for its education, obviously, but um, there's also, they just started a music theater department a few years ago, and I was fortunate to work with the guy that they brought to lead it. He was the talent acquisition director for Wicked on Broadway, and his wife was the Green Witch in Wicked, so that's the kind of talent that they're bringing to run these departments, and it's awesome. So this right here is the center of UNCG, it's the Student Administration Center, the Administrative Offices, Elliott Center. Lots of history here, the Alumni House. Some of it you can rent out for events. Of course, the Yum Yum Hot Dog place in Old Town are great. Yum Yum Hot Dogs is the, the place in every city where you have to try their hot dog. One of my good friends, Maddie, owns it now. Their ice cream's great. Their hot dogs are great. If you like hot dogs that are from Yum Yum, which I've always grown up on them. Honestly, I haven't, ha I haven't had one in a while, but I might. <laughs> but you can see a lot of the new buildings, and I'll tell you around. Another thing that has been amazing for this university is their nursing department has grown so much. They've, they've brought in a new dean of nursing, and She's brought in some really high level people and they built a new building. So we're gonna drive by and take a look at that too. So we're getting ready to drive by the soccer fields and the softball field. The athletics here are amazing. The softball coach, Janelle, she's the most, she's won more than any other coach that's been here and they had a great season last year. I was honored to work with the women's basketball coach Trina Patterson, Coach Trina was great. There are so many athletic teams and I'm actually getting a little bit more involved with that to help support them. But it's really, really, really all sorts of events. And then their men's basketball team, the men's baseball team, one of my favorite neighbor kids is now on that team. And so I follow baseball. I'm not really a sports person, but I'm having to be. But if you're gonna be a sports person, the Spartans are great to follow. They just brought in an awesome new athletic director, Brian Macon from Dallas. So I feel like they brought in some really great people. The entry to UNCG right here is beautiful. This was the original entry. So we are on Market Street. This shows it's beautifully landscaped. There's a little golf area and then up here is where you'll see more of the theater, music, the area, those buildings are right up here on the right. And this is Tate Street. So this is the College Street. I don't know if anyone's been to Chapel Hill. I actually went to school there.
Franklin Street is that street in Chapel Hill. Tate Street is that street here. So lots of great architecture, lots of beautiful historic homes. Some, some of them are rented out to students, but a lot of people live in this neighborhood and are um, actual residents who are not students. So as you can see up here, we're getting to the commercial part of it. Sushi Republic, great restaurant, love their sushi. This used to be the bookstore. I don't really know what it is, and it was a movie theater for a while. And then these are, that's a vegetarian restaurant, Boba House. It's got Tate Street Coffee, which I'm just gonna have to say has been here forever. And it's one of my favorite coffee shops. It's local, great couple owns it. And then you've got all sorts of different kinds of restaurants, different coffee shops. I'm sure there's a tattoo place here somewhere. If I ever get a tattoo, I've always said I'll get it on Tate Street. I don't know that that'll happen, but if it does, this is where I'll do it. And then back here, I just want to show you the new nursing building that I was just talking about. They just built this and, and they are bringing in lots of people. So that's going to be a, a great thing because in the downtown tour, I pointed out the training facility that UNCG and A&T and Cone Health are all, and Wake are all partnered with. And so that's why they're training a lot of the people here. This is an older area and now this used to be McKeever, but you know, they closed it and it's all the campus now. So we'll turn around real quick because I think this dead ends. Deborah Barnsdale is who they brought as the Dean of Nursing and she's amazing, amazing person. It's, a, it's interesting to Tina McIntyre is the Dean of Admissions. She was the one that UNC Charlotte that made UNC Charlotte such went from a small college to a huge university. And she said she would have never left there if it hadn't been for, you know, Chancellor Gilliam and what was going on at UNCG. So I, I think that speaks highly. And then another one of my favorites, Debbie Storrs, she's the new provost, incredible person. She's been here, well, she's probably been here less than a year, but just loves Greensboro, came from North Dakota and has just jumped in and really gotten involved. But this is, this is the old Acock Auditorium, so they do some performances still there. And then you see the Weatherspoon Art Museum up ahead. That's an incredible art museum. It has primarily all sorts of exhibits. I love their, when they have North Carolina artists. I think what, what I'll do is I'll do another tour and just we'll, we'll hit Guilford, Greensboro College, and maybe even GTCC, which is a great community college that's here that offers a lot of options for kids going to school but also adults. If you're interested in learning more about anything on this tour or anything about the area, just contact me. I would love to help you.